We're at 5 Westwood Crescent and it's a nice snowy March day. A um, little bit of problems here with the window. You see we've got uh, some seals broken in that one and that one. Fortunately, they're really small windows so it won't be expensive to replace them. This is a very well kept house and they left some interesting stuff behind. Usually a foreclosure uh, it looks a lot rougher than this. Over there I would imagine that was a spot for another uh, yeah, gas fireplace or stove. Big kitchen, big dining eating area, nice white cupboards, all looks really new. Even the stainless steel appliances are still here which is a real bonus. That is definitely granite countertops. Yeah, they did a nice job. Uh, notice the moldings are all the, the larger moldings. Just taking out the old ones and putting new ones. Backyard has some features. There's a outdoor fire pit area. Um, over there is a nice little garage for your lawnmower. Across the back alley, that's a big house, but I happen to know those people though. That's our electrician. Nice neighbors, they'll be good neighbors. The area is pretty good, nice, decent sized houses in this area. Um, we'll go downstairs here first. Go into the utility room, get that boot washer so you don't have to do it in the sink when your wife isn't looking. It does has a sump pump in here. So this is a good sized laundry room, you can hang stuff up. Um, all the windows down in the basement are like this, they're this size and they're um, a window well type system. So when we see that we check out to see if we see any leaks in the jip rock or anything and that doesn't show up. Carpets are very nice, I um, would still recommend bringing in a cleaner and give it a good shampoo before you move in. There's another fireplace, real good looking fireplace. Now let's see, is this, yeah, that's not plastic, it's stone. Look at the size of this living room, family room. And then off to it, this is the multimedia room. You put your, your different levels for your different chairs so you can all watch a movie together. The speakers all wired in. Wiring still here, which is also a big bonus. I've seen them ripped out before. Um, got a real good size bedroom down here. So this would be bedroom number four. Now here's the problem area. They had some problem here. Nice bathroom, but look at, they must have had a big leak in the wall. So they tore all that out, including the bedroom behind it. Had to tear out the carpet. Um, it wouldn't be too hard to put back together. Make sure the leak is contained. Um, really nice features in here. Like, look at this little desk area there with lights. You got built-in stuff in the closet. Good sized closet. And I quite like this house. In the furnace room, that's a good sized furnace. Mid-efficiency. Hot water tank looks Oh, they're probably the age of the house. They still look good. And one of the reasons it would look good is because it looks like they've had soft water. There's a soft water system here. So that helps keep all your pipes in your hot water tank running a long time. Um, want to notice here too, there's a hot tub breaker. So they must have had a hot tub at one time. Yeah, very. People that lived here took good care of it. The ceiling is acoustic style, but a little more expensive, not your standard cheap ones. And do a quick run upstairs. I forgot to show you the master bedroom. There's your main bedroom. See they put granite countertops and everything. And new tile around the bathroom. Nice bright one here. Bedroom number three. Bedroom number two. North facing. Master bedroom. North facing windows. 
good size and uh, that's a three-piece ensuite really good size shower one of those real expensive doors and walk-in closet uh, sufficient not huge but there you go number five Westwood I'd say uh, this one's a real winner the price looks good and uh, I did mention that's real hardwood yeah I like this house <laughs>